Hey guys, it's Let's Play FDL Faster Than Light. I'm Nye, and uh, that last run with the Rock Cruiser wasn't my favorite, honestly. Uh, I think this time I'm going to go with the Taurus. I haven't done a lot with the NG Cruiser. Uh, so we're going to play with that for a bit. Let's, let's power up the Ion Weapons, uh, and let's get our guys to where I want them to be. Let's get you on the shields, you on the weapons, and the human can be piloting the ship. I'm okay with this run. I'm okay with this, in general. Uh, let's just start with the stress call. Hopefully it's going to be something an NG can give me a blue option on. Uh, nope, it's a trap. Okay, let's start ion blasting the hell out of their shields, get our anti-ship drone up, and we're going to go from there. And we will see what we can do. Awesome, their shields are down, and our sh uh, drone is just going to go to town. Oh, I don't have auto fire on. That explains it. Okay. Gotta remember to put that on immediately. Luckily, nothing bad happened from not having that on. And our drone is just going to hurt the ever-loving hell out of these guys. But again, I am completely okay with that. It's just gonna take them apart. Uh, so, one of the problems we had with our last run on the NG Cruiser is that uh, I didn't um, uh, get shields up fast enough. But of course, we've been making a point to get level 2 shields early as possible, so I don't anticipate that being a problem uh, for this particular run. Decent amount of, uh, scrap for the first, uh, first area, too. Must have been because it was a distress beacon. Uh, let's, uh, slowly start picking up these beacons, see what we can find. Uh, let's see, let's defend this refueling outpost. So, engage this guy. Looks like he has an anti-ship, uh, drone as well. So, I'm gonna get the ion blast actually specifically on his drone. Uh, should work pretty well here. Hopefully I'm not going to take too much damage off of this thing. I'd like to get their weapons offline as soon as humanly possible. And looks like my drone feels much the same way about this. Which is good. Uh, got their drone offline right now. Now I remember from when I actually got the achievement for uh, uh, taking down multiple uh, uh, ship resources at the same time. That part of the reason why I got it is because I was aiming my ion blast at something that wasn't the shield. So every time it hits the shield, it takes the shield offline, and then it can take out individual areas offline as well. So something to think about when you're trying to go for it yourself. Now really, uh, the Ion Blast 2, as fast as it fires, really doesn't, uh, at least at this level, at least, uh, you know, with a uh, new NG, basically, at the helm, uh, it doesn't really fire fast enough to take out all four sectors on its own. So you really do got to make sure to uh, have a second uh, Ion weapon of some sort. But it's not really that hard to find them. They're pretty common. Okay, so that thing's done. Not bad. Only 8 scrap, unfortunately. But we got another 16 from this guy. Uh, that's going to be enough to power that up. And we will continue our jumping. Okay, what are we going to find here? Absolutely nothing. Uh, we got a store over there. I'm going to ignore that store just because it looks like that's going to be a dead end if I happen to go there. And instead, we're going to keep on moving. Uh, Merchant is asking for a mercenary ship to aid him. Sure, uh, he wants us to move some drone parts for him. Got a quest marker over there. I'm going to head slowly in that direction. think I'm going to go through this nebula first, though. See if I can slow down the rebels. Let's see if we can follow this Federation ship. Uh, awesome. We got friendlies. We got another human to join us. Let's toss him into the engine room. And we'll keep going. Got a distress call here. Let's see what we can find. Always like to help people out if I can. Let's see. Uh, we got an ion weapon to disable the defense system of the enemies. Or we got the engine crew to remotely repair it. I think remotely repairing gets you a better reward. Hey, I'm okay with 20 scrap and a missile and a drone part. I am completely okay with that. We are going to move on from there. I, that's kind of why I like running the uh, non-human ships. Is because there is a higher chance of uh, us getting those really nice quest rewards. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a problem. I'm probably going to have to run away from this fight because I just do not have the power to squeeze out of this ship to pull this off. But I'm going to try anyways. So I got no shields, I got no engine, so I have a 0% dodge chance right now. So remember, this is really bad. I also have absolutely no uh, uh, oxygen whatsoever, so I need to get this fight done quickly. Now, the lucky thing is they're just going to be, uh, crap... They took out my drone. Okay, so I'm going to be focusing on taking out their weapons, obviously. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. My drone's going to come online in just a second. Uh, let's get the thing moving again. Awesome. So they're taking out my O2, but that's fine. My O2 is offline anyways. Come on, drone. Take this thing out fast. I really want to get out of this zone before it does too much damage to me. Uh, their shields are offline. Awesome. Come on, drone. Keep firing. Come on. One more shot will do it. Perfect. Take the points out of drone, get into my O2, get into my engines. They gave us the augment reverse ion field, which is good. I hate being ioned myself. Let's put a point into power, and let us keep on running. 
Uh, I'm gonna visit this next nebula, then I'm gonna move to the part, to the, uh, the beacon to the right, and then we're gonna move on down. Three missiles for eight fuels, good for me, because I don't have any missile weapons. We're just gonna keep on moving. Uh, let's see, let's jump to this spot right here, and then uh, move on to the quest, and then the exit. Uh, we're gonna attack these slavers, because, well, they're slavers, and I don't like them, so we're just gonna do that. Get my shields online. Perfect, I have level two shields in sector one. That is completely okay by me. Come on, let's get this stuff going. Come on, drone. Come on, drone. I need you to be hit. I need you to be doing damage, not my ion weapon. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we're in a much better position. That drone's just smacking everything, which is completely okay by me. And we are we have their uh, weapons completely offline, also okay by me. Looks like we're doing a little bit better with the NG ship than we did last time. Uh, again, I think there's a... I, I really like the um, uh, Zoltan ship. A little bit more than I like the NG ship. But uh, this, I mean, this is okay. I'm doing well here. Uh, they're going to offer me a slave. Done. Going to toss this rock into here. And we're going to make a jump towards the quest marker. Got five crew members already. I mean, we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here. Uh, they're going to offer me 22 scrap for five drone parts. You know what? I'm going to take it. Because uh, I really need scrap more than I need anything. And now we're going to jump... Uh, Okay, so the question is, can I make it? Nope, I'm not going to risk it. We're just going to go directly to the exit. I have had that problem before. Let's jump to the exit and see what we get here. Uh, one drone part for five fuel. Not going to take that deal. Not quite good enough. We're going to start going upwards, and I'm hoping we're going to see uh, the NG home worlds on this run. We might not, and if we don't, you know, I'm not going to be too upset about it, but uh, it would have been nice. Okay, let's see what we're going to find. These guys want three fuel. I'm going to give that to them. They're going to give me 28 scrap. That is a deal worth taking. Uh, I am going to upgrade my doors because you know how much I like having my doors upgraded. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Let's start running around in this uh, nebula and see what we can find. Let's see if I can follow this Federation ship. But we find a rebel uh, group. Well, that's not ideal. But they have a beam drone. I'm not too worried about that. Looks like they have two beam weapons and... Uh, Looks like two beam weapons and a laser, and you know, that's that's fine by me. They're not really going to get through my shields that way. Uh, we're going to take their drone offline and just going to start dealing some random damage to them. I'm eventually going to need something better than this uh, ion blast. I'm eventually going to need an actual weapon to use, but for now we're fine. Uh, I could do it with a second drone too, that would be fine too. What I could really use is a drone recovery arm, which is an augment that... Uh, uh, says that as long as the drone is not destroyed when you exit the battle, you get to you get to pick it back up, basically. So I would really appreciate having that. That would mean that I could actually hold on to my drones uh, and not have to worry about running out of them. I kind of wish we had some sort of augment like that for missiles or uh, something to that effect, but, you know, that would be a little bit too good, I think. Uh, they're trying to power up their FTL. Not a fan of that. Let's get the Ion Blast to start focusing on their bridge. Uh, they're going to offer me three missiles, a drone part, and 14 scrap. Not going to happen. I don't value missiles that highly right now. I prefer to have you dead. Let's see here. One more shot should do it. There we go. And what type of reward do I get from that? One fuel, one drone part, 24 scrap. I can live with that. Upgrade my doors to max level. Really important to have those going, especially on this ship. And we'll do another jump. Okay, going to attack this ship to get to the station. Ion blast to its weapons. I don't ever want to take any damage off of this thing and uh, should be okay about that too. Let's see, there's two weapons gone, three weapons gone, we're not taking anything, any damage off of this thing, definitely worth my time. Two more shots off my drone, this thing's gonna be gone, and that's gonna make a pretty good jump if I do say my so myself. <coughs> we got a messy at the station, got absolutely nothing off of it, but that's okay. Uh, I did get a decent uh, amount of scrap. Got another rebel fighter. Uh, I need to pull points off of shields, and I'm gonna pull that point out of oxygen, toss it inside of or into my uh, uh, engine, so I have at least a little bit of a dodge chance. And now we're gonna actually start doing things to them. Uh, looks like my uh, yep, looks like my weapons guy did level up a little bit. I am gonna take some damage, and uh, it does sound like they did do a breach. So let me get my guys in there real quick, so we can make sure to get that uh, repaired. Doesn't look like it's going to take too long. Awesome. Get you guys back in your respective positions. And, uh, let's see here. We got their weapons offline, which is good. Though I really do want that cycle to go through again, so that way my, uh, we're hitting its shield before, um, before the drone fires. I prefer to have it like that than the other way around. Got to make sure we keep their shields down. Looks like my drone has their weapon shut down as well, which is good. 
Uh, we are doing okay. We did take a little bit of damage, but I'm not too worried about the damage we took. What I'm hoping for right now, I want to get a crew teleporter. Uh, we have enough crew for it to feel like it's going to be worth it. And I definitely have a rock crew member. I would really like to see a mantis crew member uh, if I get a crew teleporter. Because mantis plus rock equals enemy dying fast. Let's see, got a rebel scout coming at me. Let's just ion blast to its weapons, pull up my uh, drone, get my shields back online and my oxygen, and we'll be good to go. Oxygen dipped out down dangerously low there. It was under 30%. But, uh, you know, it looks like we're going to lash through that. Let's see, I don't know what uh, type of recharge we have on this ion blast. I should probably look into that. Two missiles, drone part, and 18 scrap. Good for us. There's a store way the hell down there, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to go to that, actually. That's a long ways down there. Uh, but I can make it. Let's make the jump. Let's see what they have. You know, it could be a weapon. could be that teleporter I've been looking for. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to heal up. Now, this is a difficult question for me. The heavy laser would be nice to actually have something to attack with, but I would have to actually... Uh, put some points into weapons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the crew, uh, crew teleporter to begin with, uh, in part because it's really, really useful uh, and gives us all sorts of blue options, and then I'm just going to make my jump. I'm going to sell five missiles for 15 scrap. I can live with that. And let's make another jump. going to go towards the exit. Uh, I might not go through immediately. I might zoom around a little bit depending on what's here. I'm going to definitely buy 6 fuel for 12 scrap. I can live with that. That is a really good deal. Because we were kind of running out of fuel. We weren't in a really like desperate situation or anything. But it's a little bit less fuel than I would have liked to have. Now we do have some slavers here. And I am completely okay with attacking these guys. Let's take out their weapons. Toss my anti-ship drone here. I'm hoping they're going to give us a mantis. Or uh, at least a second unit of some kind would be nice. Well, second available unit, a guy I do not have to have on our uh, on any given system. So that way I can actually have them teleport in. Okay, let's see. Come on, guys, surrender for me. Now, I got their I got their weapons offline. What I might do is just have the rock jump over there, but I'm not sure how good of an idea that would be. Come on, cycle through for me. Let's get let's get the ion weapon hidden first. Like, there's no the problem is there's no point taking manual control over it at this point. Okay, come on, surrender. There, up oh, they're trying to jump. They're not going to jump for obvious reasons. We're gonna accept their offer. Okay, you know what? A second rock is okay. I'm completely okay with that. Still got a little bit of time. Let's keep on exploring. Okay, um, Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to attack this ship, and the reason why is that I could get a lot more out of attacking it than I could out of bypassing it, even though we have that teleporter option. Uh, I would rather uh, take this thing out and get the, uh, and get as much possible scrap than I, uh, than just bypass it. Otherwise, that blue option would have been kind of nice. But, uh, you know, as you can see, this actually is working out rather well for me. The risk was worth it. Uh, I'm pretty well equipped for this. Okay, got that thing killed, and that gives me 14 scrap, perfect. Um, there's a store nearby, and there is that sun. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip those, we're just gonna leave. Not really worth going for, and I'd risk being caught by the rebels if I actually tried. We are gonna go to the NG controlled sector, so unfortunately it's not the NG homeworld, so I'm not gonna be able to get the, uh, core, uh, what am I, core, I'm reading while I'm talking. I'm not going to be able to get the uh, stealth cruiser on this run, I don't think, but uh, we'll be able to get something here. Okay, so these guys are going to jump onto my ship, most likely, because, you know, they're Mantis. Uh, that Man, that sounds so racist. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's do the ion blast directly to their shields, toss up our anti-ship drone. Now, they are going to jump onto my ship. Uh, interesting that they jumped there. Let's get these guys into here real quick. I'm going to take a point out of... Uh, I don't really have any extra power. I'm going to take a point out of the engines, I guess, so that way everybody can go in here. Um, and I'm going to put the rock guys in here so they cannot take out my, uh, my uh, pilot system because that would just be a bad thing. 
Unfortunately, they just took out my uh, sensors, gonna get my shield guy in there to repair that, and I'm taking out their weapons, and we should be in pretty good condition. Uh, remember, I have my, I have my NG, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I have the NG uh, health repair thing that uh, says that uh, my guys gain health no matter where they are as long as uh, I have the uh, healing uh, bit active. They're offering me eight missiles and two drone parts. I'm going to reject that just because, again, they're focusing on giving me missiles. I don't actually need missiles. What I need right now is uh, drone parts and uh, fuel. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to teleport onto their ship right now. I don't really think I do. Um, well... Um, nah, it's too dangerous. So we're just going to wait. We'll kill this guy. And uh, when I have more power so I can put dedicated power into my teleporter, that's when I'm going to actually do that. So there goes the Mantis ship, 17 scrap. And uh, we got a Rebel Scout here. I'm just going to destroy that ship. I'm going to salvage it. It's not really worth trying to mess with the Rebels too much. Uh, I could have sent them back to, like, uh, distract the Rebels and, you know, slow them down a little bit. But, again, probably not worth it. We're going to keep on jumping around a little bit, see what else we can find. We got apparently an intruder on deck. Uh, it's a mantis. Uh, I'm, you know what? I, we've done this before. I'm gonna side with the fugitive, and he, it was a trap. He sabotages my ship and teleports away. Uh, what I'm gonna do is these. They only have Mark One uh, drones. So what I'm gonna do is the mantis ship. I'm gonna teleport into their drone control unit and start attacking. Now we're gonna have attack coming from man. Uh, looks like we got a mantis. In, well, that's right. They have mantis in there. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of fighting with them. I'm probably gonna get my guys out of there as soon as humanly possible, actually, because this is actually not a good fight for them. But, um, you know, they're gonna do a little bit of damage. Hopefully they're gonna take out that drone control unit before they get out. Uh, let's see. They might very well do that. Okay, I'm actually taking more damage than I realized. Um, I'm gonna let them take care of that drone control unit real quick, and now I'm gonna get them out of there onto my ship, and I'm gonna get them to go heal up the med bay, which took a little bit of damage during the fight. Uh, we're gonna win this fight. Oh, that's what it is. They have a multi-shot laser that I didn't pay attention to. Okay, I understand. But, uh, that boarding party was, I mean, that was fairly successful. That wasn't horrible by any means. Uh, this, I mean, this could have gone a lot better. I did take a lot of very needless damage, I will admit that. So, uh, that could have gone better, but, you know, live and learn, I guess. Let's keep on jumping, see what else we can find in this sector. Defense drone mark II, okay, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, what I will do is I will upgrade my drone control. I can't quite use both just yet, I don't have the, uh, energy to do that yet, but I do like having that as an option. Let's explore this asteroid field. Found four missiles and 32 scrap, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to put some of that into power so we can get ready to use both drones, if at all possible. That defense drone's going to be very helpful against missiles. Uh, let's give these guys fuel, just see what happens. Give me a sector map, okay. Uh, where, uh... Ah, crap, I gotta back up. That's not good, that's gonna slow me down a lot. Gotta keep on jumping, uh, we're gonna make our way towards that distress call and towards that store. Hopefully I'll have a little bit more time to explore, but I really don't, uh, think I'm gonna have a chance. When I had that, uh, stasis pod, this was the partic- uh, I think it was an episode ago, maybe two episodes ago. This was the event I was looking for. We needed this event to actually open up that station, uh, status pod, uh, bleh, pod. Okay. I'm gonna open doors, we're just gonna smoke those NGs out, we're gonna ion blast these guys, and get my anti-ship up. Uh, they have lasers, and they have ion weapons, uh, and they have this, uh, drone that's attacking me. I'm gonna pull a point out of there, and I'm gonna toss these guys into the teleporter. As soon as the Zoltan shields go down, I'm teleporting my rock units into their drone control unit. Actually, gonna toss it into their weapons, because I really don't want to have to fight that many people in the drone control. There's a potential to have to fight four people in there, which is not what I want. Uh, luckily, my, uh, rock crew members are only having to fight NGs in there, and NGs are only half as effective as fighting as normal units, uh, and the cool thing about this is that, uh, let's turn off the anti-ship for now. The reason why that's very cool is that because NGs are so ineffective, my rock is having trouble because they're inside of their, uh, med bay, 
Uh, you know what I could do is I could Ion Blast their Med Bay to make it so that they can't heal anymore. So let's do that while we destroy their uh, weapons. That's going pretty well. And then once their weapons are down, they're not going to be able to do much more. That's working fairly well. Uh, let's see, we got a Zoltan that wants to come join us in this. And he went down pretty quick. Uh, their shields are going to go back online. I'm going to get my rock crew members to leave there, because they did pretty... Actually, no, we're going we're gonna to belay that order. I'm going to do something to have my rocket crew members go to their O2 and sabotage that real quick. And then they're going to leave. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is I kind of want to smoke them out. I kind of want to just make it so they don't have anything going on here. If I can do that, you know, that'd be amazing. I'm going to have them sitting there until oxygen goes into red, and then I'm going to have them teleport out. Uh, honestly, I like this idea simply because uh, it has the highest chance of killing them. Here they come to try to fight me in here. It's not really going to work. Well, it may work, considering there's two of them. But uh, they're not really going to have a lot of luck here. I'm watching my crew members' health very closely. Uh, we are kind of winning. Okay, now I'm going to pull them back. And, I mean, these guys are really screwed. I'm just going to focus uh, attacks on their O2. This is going to take a little while. I do apologize, guys. I know this is going to be a little bit boring. But we're going to get a lot more uh, scrap for doing it this way. And basically uh, starving them of oxygen. They're never going to be able to get that oxygen back online. Uh, so we're going to get a lot more... Um, a lot more scrap this way. They did get their weapons back online, which I'm not big fans of, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, their oxygen, did they repair that? I'm not a fan of that. You know what, you guys get back in here, because apparently they got their oxygen back online, and I do not want that. So get in there, take that back out. Uh, there's going to be a fight in there, but my rock crew members are completely set up in there. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. We did take damage to our O2, though, so i got to make sure to get that back online. Actually, let's blast that. Ion Blast their med, uh, medical center. Uh, if I can actually get that, they're not going to be able to survive a fight in there. So I'm hoping I can actually get that to actually hit. Awesome, so that's going to be deactivated. We're actually going to win that fight in there, I think, now that the medical bay is done. Watch it pretty closely, though, because, you know, if, if they don't win in there, that could be bad stuff. Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, I'm going to pull them out. Okay, well, it was a fun idea, it didn't work, and I'm completely fine with just killing them at this point, because, you know, we're not going to actually kill them that way, and I do not want to take any more damage than I had to. But, it was a cool idea, uh, could have worked, uh, if I had, like, I say, a fire beam, that would have been amazing, a fire beam would have actually worked, so I'm going to be on the lookout for one of those. Ion Blast is eventually going to take their shields down, and when it does, my, uh, drone is just going to kill them, and that will be the end of it. You should be not be over there any longer. You should be in there. Okay, drone, finish him up, please. One shot, two shot, and they're dead. Okay, that took a little bit longer than it should have. But, uh, I mean, you guys saw what I was trying to do. Got another defense drone. I mean, that's not horrible. Okay, so now I have enough power to power two drones. Uh, I'm also not going to do anything else just yet. I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's make our way towards that distress beacon. Okay, they gave me a hull missile, sure. I do have enough time, I think, to get one more beacon before I go to that distress beacon. Anti-ship drone, Mark 1, okay. I actually only need one defense drone, so I'm going to toss the anti-ship in here. and That'll allow me to uh, get uh, more damage out if I need it. I'm liking all these passive helps. Okay, so it was a lure. Okay, you know what, whatever. Okay, Rock Crew members, you guys get up here. We're going to go take some stuff out. Um, I don't really want to use two drones right now, though. So, I mean, ideally, I don't even want to use one, honestly. But I guess I'll pop one up, just so I don't want to take any damage off these guys. Okay, my drone took out their uh, med bay. And with that med bay down, I guess the computer does not like 
sending its units out to the med bay if the med bay is known to be down. So looks like they're just gonna... They might keep on fighting. Nope, they got the med bay reactivated. Okay. Well, I'll just leave my rock in there to keep on attacking that. They're offering me three fuel, a drone part, and 17 scrap. Not gonna accept that. Uh, we're gonna keep on going. Uh, my rock members have kind of destroyed that. Let's move into the next area. Let's deactivate the anti-ship and uh, get you guys in here so we can see if we can kill them and take the ship without having to uh, uh, destroy the ship. That will give me more scrap. Come on, rock crew members. You can do it. It's just two NGs. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. A lot more missiles, a lot more drone parts, a lot more scrap. Let's get you guys into here and heal them up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this thing a little bit, so that way I can get them on and off faster, just in case there's an emergency, because I do not want to lose these guys. They're getting a lot of experience in there, and they're doing a lot of hard work, so I want to keep these guys alive. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about how we could do at endgame if we actually do reach the final sector. I'm, you know, I'm not sold just yet. We're not nearly powerful enough. We don't have the weapons for this. Okay, we got 17 scrap out of that. Didn't really get much else. Okay, so now we're going to be going into the Uncharted Nebula. So, you know, that was my hope for the NG sector. We didn't really get anything out of it, which is fine. I mean, we got I mean, we got stuff out of it, but we uh, didn't get the uh, ship out of it that I was hoping for. Okay, we got a distress beacon here. Uh, we got another one of these target systems not working. Let's just send in the NG crew, as usual, to give me a fuel to pay for what that was. Drone parts and scrap. Uh, I'm going to use some of that to upgrade our shields again. I don't have the power to do it, uh, but uh, I don't really have the power to fund that and an anti-ship, but this whole send the rock crew member thing in seems to be working pretty well. Okay, so we're going to jump into uh, here. Uh, awesome, we actually have a blue option for rock crew member. Uh, and we actually lead these guys out of the nebula instead of having to fight them, and they gave us a missile, drone parts, and some scrap. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm always okay with getting free stuff. What are we going to find here? Uh, we got a black market trader. Let's attack him. Um, let's see. Let's get everything active again. Okay, I'm going to send my crew in while ion blasting their shields. Actually, I'm going to send them into their O2. Uh, slugs are okay at fighting, but they're not amazing at it. And the cool thing about this ship that they have is that their O2 is apart from everything else in the ship. So, I'm actually going to be able to smoke them out, and there's nothing they're going to be able to do about it. Get my guys off their ship. And basically, they're going to be smoked out. I mean, there's, not, there's nothing these guys are going to be able to do about it, because there is no door to get to their O2. So again, this is not a very fast strategy. I really wish there was a speed up button. Maybe there is. Maybe I just don't. Maybe I just never seen it. But uh, you know, not a very fast strategy, but it's gonna work. And I'm gonna get my rock crew members in there just to deal damage to their uh, engines, and that way they can't dodge anymore. And then once that's done, yeah, and one of them leveled up, so they're gonna do even more damage in there. Once that's done, which should be momentarily awesome, I'm just gonna teleport them off, and then these guys are just gonna take loads and loads of damage. There's nothing they're going to be able to do about it. Uh, I'm going to keep their uh, weapons completely offline for the most part. And, um, yeah. And this is going to work pretty well. And then we'll be able to just take everything they have without much of a fight. Like, this is probably the best way that I could be doing stuff right now as this NG Cruiser. They should be dying of asphyxiation soon. I'm pretty sure they're completely out. I would send a, a rock crew member over but that would risk me losing rock crew members because I don't have the cooldown on a teleporter down low enough to get them in and out fast enough. So we'll just let it sit. Shouldn't take much longer. Fortunately, th I don't think this is the uh, slug. Uh, yeah, there. And actually, that gave us three fuels. So it's actually really good. And we got tons of scrap. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to up weapons because I want to be able to use that hull missile. And I'm going to put two points. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that just yet, because I'm going to be looking for a store to see if we can get anything else. I would really like, a, like say, a breach drone would be really nice. Okay, we got a set of pirates. 
gonna power up Ion Blast, their shields. Basically gonna do the same thing here as I've been doing in the past. Uh, these guys do not have any way to heal themselves. They don't have any uh, med kits on board. Now what they do have that I'm not happy about is that missile launcher that just launched. Uh, I'm gonna have to make sure, you know what, I'm gonna put a defense drone on watch. Uh, so that way that doesn't happen again. And then gonna send my guys in here to sabotage their O2. They got human crew members. Uh, but again, what they don't have is any way to heal themselves, so not too worried, I guess, is how I, w how I would say that. They can't really heal themselves, so I can just take out their crew members with little to no problems. So this should actually be a faster kill of their ship than the, than the last one. Yep, that, I mean, that was it. They, and also they gave me a map of the area, that's cool. Let's get these rocks healed up. Okay, so we got a store way back there. Uh, that's really risky. I'm not going all the way back there. That's really not going to happen. But uh, I know where everything is now. I know where enemy ships are, uh, things like that. So that's okay. I would have preferred seeing a store. I also would have preferred getting a little bit of a better reward for that fight. But, um, you know, beggars can't be choosers, basically. Okay, let's get you here. What I would really like to see next is a cloaking device. Uh, I would really, really like to get that because that would really solidify endgame for me. Got nothing to do here. Uh, let's jump to this ship and hope I can get fuel out of it. Okay, so we got some Mantis here. Uh, I'm going to pick a fight with them. Now, because it is Mantis, this is going to be uh, pretty dangerous. So I'm not sure how good of an idea this actually is at the end of the day, but, you know, what have you. Looks like they're in my med base. I'm going to make sure my rock crew members go in there to fight them immediately, actually. And, uh, let's see, they've got, I'm going to, uh, put up an anti-ship drone, and we're going to ion blast their shields for a while. Uh, ion Blast has a really low cooldown, so we're going to be pretty good. I might kill these guys the traditional way, I'm not quite sure. Uh, especially given that uh, we're having uh, issues like this going on. Uh, no, they took out my Ion Blast. Damn. Okay. Okay, they teleported off, which is good. Let's get you guys into the teleporter, and we will take the fight to them. Uh, let's get that Ion... Okay. You guys, get in here. Let's take out... Uh... Let's take out their captain first. It's an NG, which is good. Uh, looks like we are definitely going to be taking out uh, one of their uh, Mantis crew members. Yep, he's gone. Uh, there's the second Mantis crew member. He's going to be gone pretty quick. He's doing a little more damage to my rock than I would have liked. But uh, we're definitely going to win this fight again. They don't have any med base. So there's nothing they can really do about it. Rock crew member leveled up with his combat. And uh, there goes the NG. We got a Burst Laser Mark three for our trouble. Now that is definitely worth the trouble. That was, wow. Uh, that's, okay, that's pretty fantastic, guys. I really can't even say how fantastic that is. Uh, now, we're gonna need burst, uh, we're gonna need, uh, four points into, uh, weapons to actually use it, but that thing fires five shots. So, if I can get their, uh, let's attack these guys. Uh, they, okay, these guys do have, uh, a healing station, so I can't be quite as cheap as I have been. Uh, but yeah, First Laser Mark III is going to be doing very nice things for us. Now, they're, again, in the med base, and our guys in there to stop that. I don't really like that. And uh, we're just going to let our uh, drone over there do damage to them while we uh, do our own thing. They're going to have trouble getting through my shields, which is good. I like it when enemies have trouble getting through my shields. They're taking out the med bay. Uh, as soon as, uh, I don't know if these guys are going to teleport off, they might have time. Or, uh, nope. Oh, wait, yes, yes, they did. Let's get my guys quickly into the crew teleporter, and we're going to teleport into their med bay and cut them off of the pass. Yep, there goes one of them. Their med bay is down. Uh, they are uh, actually in very serious trouble right now. Oop. Now you get back in there. You get in there. Let's fight these guys in their med bay, because right now they don't even have a med bay to use, uh, which is very good for us. This might be all of their crew, and again, boarding parties seem to be working very well. I just wish I had a mantis for this. Uh, let's see, it looks like we're... can't tell... Yep, we got him. Perfect, we got a heavy laser Mark 1. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that. 
uh, to be completely honest. But uh, we're doing very well for ourselves with this strategy. Unfortunately, we got absolutely no fuel. Uh, so I actually have to wait here and hope someone shows up. Okay. Small ship. Uh, hmm. Five fuel for 20 scrap. Usually it would be 15 scrap, so that's actually uh, that's actually bad. What I could do is I could attack them, but I'd lose a lot of fuel. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pony up and pay five fuel for 20 scrap, and then we're gonna jump. I do still have time. Yeah, I don't want this particular run to end this easily. Okay, let's go see what this ship is. I'm exploring a little bit too much on too little fuel, but I'm kind of hoping I'm going to get something. Okay, so we got more Mantis. Let's open up all hatches as usual. And let's uh, begin our day, basically, is what we're going to have to do. Uh, they're getting ready to teleport. Where are they? They are in my... Uh... Let's get you guys into here. They're in my sensor's room, so let's um, vacate that and see where they go. They got my sensors, but that's okay. We're in the middle of a nebula, so it's not as if that matters anyways. Now that matters. We are taking damage off of missiles and bombs, really. Okay, that's, uh, that's decidedly not good. Not happy about that. Uh, where are they now? They're in my door control, trying to get into uh, here with my NGs. Uh, I'm going to... W crap... Okay, they should be dying pretty quick. I'm going to see if I can get my NG to uh, get that oxygen uh, to be better. Looks like they either teleported out or um, or died. I'm not sure which. Wait, no, they are moving onwards into... Okay, they're, move, they're in shields right now. And they just took out some of our shields. Okay, this is, this is bad, guys. We are, uh, we are in a very bad position here. I'm going to go ahead and teleport into their, um, I kind of really want to get in their weapons control systems, so that's where we're going to go. We're going to get into their weapons control systems, so we're going to attack there, and hopefully have some luck in there. Uh, um, eh, yeah, when I say luck, I mean, we're not having a lot of it right now. I think we killed the Mantis on our ship, so that's okay. And we're kind of winning on their ship. Also, okay, I think they, I think the Mantis on my ship died of asphyxiation, which, uh, good stuff. Now, unfortunately, uh, we're having a little bit of trouble on their ship. Yeah, I'm gonna pull my guys out, so that way I can heal them. And then we'll work on, we'll move on from there. I'll probably be jumping back onto their ship in just a second, but I wanted to make sure... Uh, that we dealt some damage to them, uh, you know, doing too well here to sacrifice it at this, basically. Let's get you back in there. We're going to jump in again. They do have a med station, unfortunately. Uh, that is a very true thing. Um, I think I am going to get my weapons guy to fix our drones. And then I'm probably going to get that second anti-ship drone running. Looks like they're out of missiles. Looks like they've popped everything they had on us, which is simultaneously good and bad. Uh, it's good because they don't have any more to fire at me. It's bad because, well, obvious reasons, right? Okay, let's get the second drone up. And let's get you guys in there, just in case I want to send them back in. Don't think that's going to happen, honestly. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be sending them back in. But I'm, you know, open to the possibility. You know, I should have had a defense drone up the entire time that I was taking damage off those missiles. God damn it, I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay. Well, their O2 is down. Okay, I'm going to send my guys back in to stop them from repairing that O2. And hopefully that'll work well. Um, you know, I'm kind of hoping that we're going to... Let's get my Ion Blast to work on their shields, because working on their weapons is just not doing anything for us. Hope my, I'm hoping those uh, drones will attack their uh, med center, you know, eventually. That would actually be helpful, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm just going to get my guys out of there. It's not worth having them in there. Get you guys into healing. 
and uh, we'll just wait. And they're not going to last much longer. That's it. If they had any more missiles, we wouldn't last much longer either. So, you know, there's that. Okay, they go down. I used two drones. They gave me one back. I got some scrap. I got some fuel, which is, uh, you know, basically all I was wanting out of that. And now we're going to jump. Should I risk it? I'm going to risk it. Let's jump here and see what we can get. Absolutely nothing. Okay, jump to the exit. Wasted uh, two fuel. Anything here? Nope. Jumping on. Uh, we got the slug controlled nebula or the rock home worlds. Um, I'm gonna go to the rock home worlds. There's nothing that can that, that could give me anything that I'd be interested in in the, in the uh, slug controlled nebula, honestly. So, gonna go on the rock home worlds. And the one problem with this, of course, is that uh, why am I saying the one of these? I've already I've already beaten this. But you know what? We're strong enough to destroy you. Uh, we've done this before. We know how this particular quest works. Uh, I'm going to jump, and I'm hoping I'm going to find myself a, um... Oh, great. Not good. I have a lot of fire to deal with. You, get over here. Heal that up. Actually, let's do that and then heal that up. Uh, I really don't want to fight these guys, and I really don't want to waste drones on them. They're not going to give me the option, though, so I'm going to have to. Let's pull power out of the unnecessary things. Power up the drones. Uh, what I'd really like to do... Let's get the Ion Blast on their weapons, because I want to see that... Uh, nope, there comes the missile. Damn. Oh, crap, and one of my drone controls just went out. Okay, well, we're going to keep on trying... And, uh, let's get you guys into the med bay. And let's get, uh, this NG over here to repair the drone control systems. Here comes the first one. Brace yourselves! Nope, here comes the missile, and that kills us. Damn, okay, um... Wow. Okay, so I could have done a lot of things better. Now, we did have a really good strategy, and teleporting onto the enemy ships was amazing. Uh, so that was good. On the downside, of course, was several bad fights, uh, things that I wasn't paying enough attention to. Should have had the drone control system up, uh, the defense the defense uh, against that last guy, against that last Mantis ship to stop those missiles. So, could have made a lot less mistakes. But, doing okay. We are seeing what works and what doesn't. I will see you guys next time.